Good morning, everyone. Your old pal Mike Kaylee 7 here. Can you see that? It looks like it's about 30 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but I will keep. Showing you 30 degrees. Today is January 7th. Yeah, January 7th. First day of the semester. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Let me do my mileage. 2,561 miles. 2,561 is my starting mileage. My battery tender wire to this thing here, and then this thing here, basically sits on the back of my seat like this. I'm going to put it through there. I'll leave it like that, just let it hang. Turn it on, see how it's on now? And then this thing here, I should put right like that. Now, sticking out of my ass, there's another cable, which I'll show you in a moment. I keep losing the connector on this one. Here we go. Ugh. Let's get on the bike. Now I connect to my butt. Then, I put on my glove, first I connect, you can't see anything, huh? Anyway, I connect like that, I kind of try to put it on the high side of my hand, it seems to be the way it's oriented. No problem with these gloves, I've noticed, is that they don't fit over my jacket very well. Gauntlet style, you know what I mean? Sort of. Hold the button. Light, medium, high. Alright, so now I get my heated gloves on. Let's put those on. I look like one of those, uh, what do you call them? SWAT team dudes. Oh, my, my goggles are all foggy. I dressed not very warm for today. I figured it shouldn't be too bad. Well, watch out for this guy. I got a, a balaclava on. I got a special extra neck thingy on. See what we can see here. Well, we got cars coming.
coming to you from atop the Phoenix on January 7th, 2015. <laughs> I said 14 the other day. The night shield's like, you nutter! Yes, I am a nutter. I hope you can make out my voice behind this balaclava thing. I'm wearing a half helmet, people. I got these heated gloves on, and I tell you what, my hands are wonderfully warm. Of course, it only it's only 30 degrees. It's not like it's cold, cold. Tomorrow is going to be the big test. When it gets down to 11 degrees is what they're saying. Believe that when I see it. But I definitely want to ride in that. So tomorrow you'll see another ride from me. So how did I get into this whole polar bear challenge thing? I'll tell you how it happened. If you go to my blog, I have a blog, a written blog. It's called The Bostonian Abroad. It's at uh, blogger.com, or it used to be blogspot. And, um, you know, I just write a little, every once in a while about something. You never can tell what it's going to be. And I enjoy myself, basically. Just write stuff. So anyway, on January 16th, 2009, the temperature outside went down to a frosty 18 degrees. This is the coldest temperature I had ever seen at that point on a motorcycle. So, I decided I'm going to go for a ride on my road tank. I had no windshield on. And thank you for taking a left in front of me, asshole. Thanks a lot for that. So, um... What was I saying before this guy almost killed me? Oh yeah, so it's January 16th, it's 18 degrees. I get on the bike, half helmet, no windshield, no heat at anything. Oh, and you got a light out. Oh, you're just styling, aren't you, pal? I never went to school, and, and I had a great time. My bike died later on, which is funny. The, uh, the battery died in the cold air. It was a four-year-old battery at the time, so I can't really blame it. So, here I am, right? Having a push start in my bike. And, uh, <laughs> I learned how to push start my bike from watching a YouTube video. It was great. You can actually push start a Harley when the battery's dead. I know, because I've done it. So, um, I was talking to Chuck later on that day about my little ride and how much I liked riding in the cold. And I said, he's saying, I wish more people would ride in the cold. Maybe we should have some kind of competition. And Chuck says, you know, that's a great idea. And I, I've done this kind of thing before. I've run many of these kind of things, but you can't really call it a competition because then there's liability issues and prizes and whatnot. So why don't you call it a challenge? So I think the two of us came up with this idea, the name of it. Uh, it was called the Polar Bear Challenge. And he says, hey, can you make a, you know, draw up a list of, of rules, you know, for the, uh, the challenge, and then I'll work on, you know, promoting it, and I'll, I'll make a website for it, and all this stuff, we'll have judges, and I said, all right, so I gave him, <laughs> I 
six pages of rules. <laughs> and he says, you're a teacher, aren't you? I said, yeah. He says, I can tell. So I had to way simplify the rules down to very simple things, which we have today, pretty much. And, uh... <laughs> started in the, in the uh, fall of 2009, that's when the first polar bear challenge happened. And I did 137 miles at 20, 20 something degrees. I was so happy, so proud of myself. And I had a good time. And the polar bear challenge basically started like that for me. Chuck was instrumental in making it all happen, that first year especially. We had uh, a guy named White Buck 86 I don't know what happened to him, but he was one of the riders. He, I think he came in second place. I think he was in like Nebraska or something. Not Nebraska. Uh, Kansas, Wichita, something like that. Anyway, it was a good time. And then the next year, I think it was uh, Navy Thomas 8 was getting really into it, and so was uh, Loud Pipes, which was kind of fun. I think uh, Loud Pipes even did a, uh, what do you call it? I think. I came early because I wanted to be cold and I also wanted to avoid all the stupid students. Oops, sorry. Uh, all my lovely students. My ending mileage is 2,567 miles. 2,567. I will talk to y'all later.